Hey guys, it's Tepco Psych Repair. Today we're going to be visiting a dark place in my life. Yep, that dark place. China carburetor. So, unfortunately there's some reasons that the China carb is your only option. And in this case, this is the Honda CT90. The China carburetor is the only one because they don't make carburetors anymore. And when you have a bad one that's worn out, or worn out to the point where it's going to cost you more to replace it, uh, with individual parts if they're available that you got to go with one of these so um, Let's dig into this thing and take a look. Let's do a comparison do a size check and Just you know a couple things that uh, would make a difference So here they are Side by side and this one I don't have the bowl on it because uh, on this bike the lines Connect to the bowl so when you turn the fuel off you can take the carburetor off and leave the bowl on there And you won't have lines leaking so if I pull the bowl off I got to capture all the fuel, so uh, we're going to leave that. the uh, The biggest difference that I noticed from the from the start, and one of the complaints that I heard about it, is that the drain on this one comes straight out of the bottom, where on the factory when it comes out of the side here, that's going to be a clearance issue. Most likely, this is going to have to be pinched, so uh, it's really not a big deal. I'm just going to take this off. Don't really need it. Uh, that's for your overflow, your drain. Uh, not a big deal. So this had a screen on here, but it was damaged. So the screen, um, here's the screen from the other one. It has a screen on it. Uh, it's kind of a little bent anyway, but not a big deal. Uh, looking at it here, it's got the um, high altitude uh, pull knob on it. If you're above 6,000 feet, it leans, uh, leans it out, has that. It's got the choke in the same position. Some of these carburetors that people are trying on these CTs, the choke lever is in a different spot. So that's in the same place. Um, our idle's in the same spot. Mixture in the same spot. Backside here. I think factory these had studs in them, uh, but they're missing. This come, these come threaded like you'd be able to put studs back in it, but I'm just going to put the, uh, they had threaded bolts in there, so I'll be able to reuse those. Uh, the size here, let's check a couple things when you're mounting it up that you have to deal with. First off, the throat size for the uh, air filter. So at the thinnest part here, it's 3179. 31. 88 is a very, very small difference there, about the same. Uh, overall length in the carburetor, I know that's a concern. Some, so let's see. We are at uh, 7862. 7801. 7776 you know within a millimeter so I don't think that's going to be an issue either um, I can open this up quick let's see I'm almost afraid to touch these screws because sometimes they will strip oh these are good let's get a look inside quick and uh get an idea what they're using if they're using plastic floats metal floats look at that that's funny same thing so it uses a rubber gasket I wonder if the Honda kits would fit in this thing well I got a Honda gasket right here let's see if it fits here's our Honda float ball gasket Yeah, it fits fine. Here's your Honda float bowl gasket, and it fits fine. So I imagine the bowl would probably fit as well. If I have, if I really do have a problem with that coming out of there, I can reroute it. Uh, I might have to trim that. Look how long that thing is. All right, we'll figure that out. All right, so here's our, uh, and these actually have numbers on them. That's surprising as well. Usually they don't. So this is a 35. It's saying that it has a 35 pilot, and our main jet. See if I can read it off of there if it has it on it. 
And the main jet does not have a number on it. Because it's saying it's got a 35 pilot. Alright. So, I mean, it looks pretty clean in here. I'm just going to throw this thing on. Uh, float height. Float height looks fine. So let's put it back together, and uh, I'm just going to throw it on there and see what happens. Kind of wing it without adjusting anything. All right. Oh, let me look at the slide. There was another thing. I think people were saying they were not adjustable. This one is adjustable. All right, so this this is adjustable needle, and it's on the third third position. So that's good. The slide looks close to the other one too. You get, you get tricked with these carburetors sometimes. They look they duplicate them so well and then when you throw them in it's it's just not the same so I'm a little concerned about that but we're gonna uh, give this one a shot and uh, hopefully it all works out so let me go hook everything up on the bike and we'll give it a, a couple kicks and see what happens stand by all right so the first pro my problem that I see and I, I thought of this when I first took it out as you see, that's hitting right there, and it's not low enough. So we're going to have to uh, cut half of that off. All right, so it's mounted up. This fit on here. This is the um, Dr. ATV boot, and it's big enough in here. It has no problem. I know some people were saying that it was they couldn't get the new carburetor into their old boot. Well, the old boots are really hard. They're barely flexible because they're old. This one from Dr. ATV works perfect, and it's nice and soft. So we got that one on. Uh, I have two new bolts in here threaded straight into the um, intake manifold here on the intake side of the carburetor. The lower part, I cut it shorter, and I was able to get the overflow hose on there after I cut it down. Uh, everything else is the gas is on right now. i got nothing dripping out of here. So uh, I'm going to lower it down off the lift here and give it a kick and see what happens. All right, so there is one more thing I want to check on it. The stock carburetor has a screen filter underneath it. It looks like this right here. So the fuel flows in through here, goes across, comes out in uh, through here, through that port right there. See that little vein right there? Comes into here and then gets filtered by this before it goes into there. So uh, let's go check it out. Yep, it's got a screen. <laughs> That's no choke. That was one kick. Crazy. great it really did no problems no stumbling nothing it went about 45 miles an hour um, it really did good I am surprised I will um, put a link in the description for this carburetor uh, but I'm real happy with it it only needed that little uh, drain line the bottom the brass fitting cut off a little bit and uh, and that's it so okay guys so that's it do me a favor hit the like button subscribe hit the bell for further notifications until next time this is Tepco Sack Repair.